Hello, this is Riddle and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about an interesting topic and that is keeping your vegetable garden and flower garden uh, prolific well into the autumn. So the date today is September 19th and while many of my fellow gardeners uh, gardens are waning and uh, withering Mine still looks like a mid-July garden. Uh, here's one example. These are my tomatoes. Uh, there's some stress just from the lower leaves because I planted them too close together. But there's still tons of flowers being made and there's still tons of fruit being formed. Now, my friends kind of... Well, people have a habit and the habit is to feed and care for uh, your garden in the spring and sometimes in the summer and then people stop doing this and they also wait for problems to arrive before they deal with them. My approach, especially when temperatures start dropping, is to start treating things whether the problem is there or not. Um, one example of this is I spray corn oil and it's only corn oil which works. I use a half a cup of corn oil to a gallon of water, warm water, and I spray this all over my foliage. And what this does is it keeps powdery mildew, that uh, fungus that looks like powder that can wipe out your tomatoes and squash and zinnias and other things in a matter of days. It keeps it from forming. You can, you can pretty much count on it. It's there, it's everywhere. It's in the air like mold. So you treat it before it appears. So as soon as temperatures start dipping down in the 60s in the evenings and we're getting more moisture, I just automatically start spraying with something as simple as corn oil. And this protects my crop. Another thing that I continue to do is I have a worm composter which makes worm tea, though you could use a seaweed fertilizer also. And I give a light dose of uh, fertilizer on the leaves, a foliant, every other week. And you have to be careful, you wanna use half the dose that they recommend, but by giving it food often in smaller doses, you won't see the dieback that the other gardeners will have by just fertilizing in spring and maybe once in the summer or heavy feedings once a month. The trick is, I have found, is to feed often but with lighter amounts. I'll do a organic fertilizer in the soil or a urine fertilizer in the soil once a month and then every other week I will use my worm tea to fertilize with. And this is the result. These are the results of that our super prolific long harvest garden. I even have um, some green beans that were I thought done and they started to come back and reproduce which is pretty exciting. I was gonna pull them out, now I'm glad I didn't because we got another couple of meals out of them. We've had a very cold winter here in Santa Cruz this year. Many, uh, we only had probably four or five days that even reached the high 80s. But as you can see, for being almost October, I think if I wrap some plastic around this garden, if the temperatures dip below 50 in late October, I may be able to push my vegetables well into November. And I'm excited about that. So just to recap, how are you going to keep your garden going longer? You're going to spray your for insects and for funguses before they appear. And you're going to do more fertilizer, but lesser uh, lesser uh, dosage of fertilizer, but more often. Okay, that pretty much covers it. I want you to um, take care of each other. I want you to take care of yourselves. And if you like my videos, if you have any questions, please subscribe. It does help. And it keeps me motivated to keep making these videos and sharing with you the lesser known garden secrets that I have learned just through 30 years of hands-on. Take care, everybody. Bye.